Welcome everyone to another video and in this video I'm just to be showing off some teams that I used on stream uh, I believe this was like June 24th or whatever I climbed like 130 points and these are just some of the my most favorite teams that I used uh, the first one is um, Drift Blim uh, Shadow Machamp A9 obviously uh, Drift Blim and A9 are both excelled they don't have an answer to uh, Shadow Machamp, so this is a uh, pretty pretty favorable for me. I throw the CMP. I probably should have thrown one beforehand, uh, but that's okay. Um, if they shield this, then I'll do four counters then throw. Uh, they end up not shielding, so I'm gonna just straight up counter down. So that's pretty good for me. Um, I believe they actually. I can't remember this game, um, but this looks pretty good for me. I have two answers to to um, uh, to Obama Snow. Um, they must have snuck in a mud shot there because I should have CMP tied there, uh, but that's okay. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm uh, looking, looks looking pretty favorable for me right now, uh, despite the being down a shield. I did so much counter damage. Um, I'm actually gonna shield this. I think. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna end up shielding this uh, just because I do need this A9 in order to beat the a bomb snow, and they were very unlikely to bait there. Because I only had one shield, and the bait would have been uh, super risky. So this is looking pretty decent for me. I'm gonna build up a little bit of extra energy here, and I'm gonna throw it three, uh, just so I don't get hit by a weather ball. They might not shield this. They don't. Um, and I commit to the, I commit to the um, uh, dazzling gleam, but in reality I could have threw the weather ball, but then they would have farmed more. And we experienced some good old lag there. So I'm in a very favorable situation for right now. Um, regular Politoed needs to throw like a million weather balls to to take out uh, my XL Drip Plim. And I'm able to land the Shadow Ball here. I think Drip Plim is really underrated in the meta. I think it's so strong. Um, Icy Wind, Shadow Ball. Uh, with Hex, and it's pretty interesting typing. Is uh, It's pretty great. So this is, oh man, this is like almost an impossible matchup for me. Uh, they have a, a Lolan Muck, uh, and as well, Lolan Muck is going to be good against two of my Pokemon, Drift Blim and Ninetales, for different reasons here. So I thought about right here, I thought about shielding um, as I was going up to it, um, but they, this person just did a really great job of counting. I'm going to be able to land this next Icy Wind, but there's not really too much I can do at this moment. They can basically just take me out whenever. I was really hoping for a bait. I should have shielded the first one. Uh, maybe debuff them some more. And then I go into Machamp. They go into Gallade. And yeah, this is absolutely <laughs> terrible for me. Um, there's just not really anything I can do at this point in time. Um, Alola Muck and it's just going to be too strong. I'm predicting two Pokemon that are weak to Charm in the back. And they cited no shield. I'm gonna double shield here, but it really doesn't matter. I'm I'm completely lost at this point in time. I'm gonna. They. I think I should have built up more actually before throwing. And they come into a lolan muck here, and I throw the ice then no, the weather ball here. And and then I come into. Uh, my champ here, and this is just, uh, yeah, ends up being surfetch here, and then I'm just gonna get absolutely torn apart by this, by this surfetch here. So I put a you know a decent effort forward, but there's not really uh, too much I can do. Double, I guess if I would have went, if I went on a nine, they would have stayed, and then but they would have to eventually. Um, like Driftman was like really strong against the back line because uh, most of the time they carry um, um, Leap Blade and Brave Bird. Okay, so this is an okay matchup. Um, obviously, A9 loses to Blim. So I do shield the first one. It makes it. See, this is the psychology of it. Uh, I shield the first one. Usually, you shield the first one to get in their head that, they, that you want them to shield. But in this case, when you shield the first one, it indicates that you might be throwing an Icy Wind, right? So you don't want them to shield us, so you go for the Shadow Ball there. So, 
throw, I think I throw the Shadow Ball here. And they have quite a bit of energy. And I think in this matchup, I try to snipe them. Yep, I do. I'm able to take them out, uh, which eliminates a bunch of energy that they had. And I try to throw in the CMP here, uh, really hoping that this is going to be uh, a CMP to the Frenzy Plant. And it is. That's really good for me. And then it just barely doesn't KO. So they're at two right now. I'm gonna, I debated here um, whether going Ninetales or Drift Blim here. And I made the wrong call because they come into Gavantula. And I'm gonna throw the Icy Wind here just to draw the potential shield because this is basically their last Pokemon. And then I'm just barely able to get out. And then they, they, they honestly made a interesting some interesting calls here. So they lunge me, and I throw in the middle of the second full switch, so I think they need one more. And I shield this, because a discharge would put me pretty low. They end up lunging me, so I'm like, oh man, I'm in huge trouble here. And um, if this was a discharge, so I'm, I wasn't sure what they were exactly doing here, because... Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not incredible, I'm not entirely sure what, so maybe they thought discharge wouldn't KO, so they needed a lunge and a discharge, so I throw, I throw the Dazzling Gleam here, and I'm going to switch to catch the move here, and then uh, they end up discharging me here, which, um, which I thought was, was weird, and then uh, now my uh, Power Snows are not debuffed, so I'm able to, to take it out, so. Uh, yeah, kind of a weird play there, to be honest. I probably should have lost that game. Uh, okay, so this is a very favorable matchup for me. Um, I resist um, pretty much everything, unless the Needle Queen is carrying Stone Edge. Um, but no, most of the time they're carrying Earth Power. And I know usually my back line, this back line is going to be favorable against whatever is in the back. A lot of times it's like Double Dark, Scrafty, Obstagoon, um, Umbreon. Uh, just to protect against the confusion weakness, or sometimes it could be could be Venusaur too. So I'm gonna build up a little bit here right before they get to another Poison Fang, and I'm gonna throw the Icy Wind. And I'm at a pretty decent spot. My obviously my defense has fallen quite a bit. I should have went to I should have went to uh, um, uh, I should have went to um, Nine Tails instead of Machamp here, because. Uh, uh, when they had when they showed the Obscoon, it was very likely gonna be a Venusaur. But maybe maybe that works out fine. So I, I know shield this. Uh, and then I'm gonna throw the Icy Wind. Uh, this definitely doesn't KO the Venusaur. And they i I'm gonna no shield this. And then I'm just gonna save two shields for, for Nine Tails. It's not Charm Nine Tails. Um, but it is Powder Snow, which is obviously way more favorable in this matchup here. Um, I shield this just because uh, it probably does more in order than anything that they end up baiting me and then I let this go so it's pretty clear that it's not going to be a gunk shot it's just going to be a cross shot and at this point in time my opponent they later on later in the chat that they, I had to they had to call the bait which is a very reasonable move there so and uh, I powder some down so it worked out pretty pretty well for me there All right, we go Drift Blem into Talon Flame. Pretty interesting matchup here. They come to a Bomba Snow. Uh, I was very slow on the switch there, which is, and I probably should have went to Nine Tails, but that's okay. Especially since they probably have another Pokemon that's weak to fighting. And then I hope it's not. And they, so they have the Weather Ball here, so I wasn't sure if they're gonna shield. Uh, they don't shield. Um, they come to Talon Flame. Should be able to easily hit the rock slide here. So I'm going to go for the CMP tie. But I do think that they're going to just uh, farm me down. No, they go, they go for the move there. So that's that's pretty good for me. They flame charge here. So this is looking uh, okay for me. I, go, I throw here just so I can get the debuff. Um, I don't expect them to shield. They don't. 
and they're clearly going for the Brave Bird here, but I, it is debuff now. So, and then I'm gonna instantly switch and it's an Umbreon in the back. So this is looking pretty good for me. Um, obviously, Powder Snow variant has a much worse matchup than uh, than the Charm variant, but that's okay. The I'm able to still get the Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam does quite a bit of damage, and they decide to no shield that, so that's really good for me. Uh, they're not quite in Weather Ball range. They last resort me here. And then throw the weather ball here. I don't think this, I think they barely survived this. I can't remember. Yeah, they do. And then I, I need to farm down. Oh, I make a really nice play here, actually. Uh, so I throw one powder snow, then I transfer the incinerate. And then they, they, they make a mistake here by throwing. They probably thought I had two or something. So they figured that the increased uh, incinerate damage would be helpful for me, but... Honestly, they if they would have just landed the incinerate. Though the thing is, if I if they don't get a move through when I throw the weather ball there, then they then they lose for sure. But it was it was like basically their only chance there, and I'm able to powder snow down the Umbreon. So it was really really close game there. Um, obviously a lot closer because of uh, how they played it. So this next this team's kind of kind of funky here. It's uh, Toxicroat, Swampert, and Snorlax, and they come into. Um, Come into uh, uh, um, uh, Kanto Muck here. And I was hoping to grab a shield, but I didn't end up grabbing one. I'm going to let this go. I am going to farm up a little bit before throwing. Uh, just because I do resist the poison jabs. And then uh, I'm going to basically just uh, bank a hydro, have a hydro can ready. And then what happens here? Oh, they come into Obskin, which is fine. And then at this point in time, I'm only going to be able to make it to one more move. And another Hydro Cannon wouldn't KO the Obskin. So I go straight for the Earthquake. I'm going to let this go. And then I'm going to obviously keep track of my health. Uh, but I am going to look to land this EQ onto this um, uh, Obskin. And then they decide to not shield because obviously they would have lived the Hydro Cannon. And then I realized it's a Toxicroat, and this is very bad for me. I need to take both shields. The counters that we're doing are just really adding up to a lot. And I throw the Mud Bomb here to grab the first shield. And I have to shield this. Like, there's not really any debate here. And then I figure as long as I can take this second, um, this, uh, second shield, I should be good. Uh, I decide to shield here just to force the the Toxicro to dump energy so there's like no bait games so they, they throw right away because I'm one off the move so it's really good counting and then uh, I'm going to be able to land the body slam before they can get to the sludge bomb they can get to the mud bomb the same time as get to the body slam but obviously the mud bomb wouldn't KO the sludge bomb wouldn't KO that range but maybe like one more counter when they're getting to it would, would be enough so that's going to be a GG there that's actually uh, um, the trainer that used Pachirisu to win uh, Pokemon Worlds back in, like, I, know, I forget what year it was. So this is uh, my legendary game here where this is... I actually looked this up afterwards. It's a way worse matchup than, than I anticipated. Um, mostly because they, they can bait, right, and the Mud Bomb doesn't KO. And as well, the Poison, poison Fang and Counter are both resistant on both sides, but... With the Poison Fang. Um, and I go into Swampert here. Some people ask why I didn't go to Snorlax. And Snorlax definitely would have been a viable safe switch here. I decided against it. Because I figured that they were going to Poison Fang. They're going to stay in and Poison Fang my Snorlax. Which I really didn't want. And then there was no way I was going to be able to gain an advantage uh, that way. Uh, so they end up Bubble Beam me here. They actually Bubble Beam me here twice. So I already grabbed a shield, and I'm not. Uh, Shadow Ball does like about forty five percent, so I'm not going to shield here. And then I try to catch uh, Shadow Ball because uh, at this point in time we've thrown four charge moves, so the clock is going to be pretty close to being up. And then here I tried to time it. They they definitely had the Shadow Ball, but they were just really patient. On well, I don't know if they actually have Shadow Ball, but I presume that they do. They just never throw it at any point in time. 
I, I let them throw the first um, foul play. Uh, oh, almost always, unless I obviously need to throw it sooner. Unfortunately, I timed it the same time that they threw the like right afterwards, and they got a free snarling. I'm gonna let this go. I can still survive it. Does quite a bit. And then here, I thought about where I was gonna catch. So I see that there's about like 20 seconds or so left in the clock. I superpower here, and or I thought about which one to catch on. Then I decided to change my mind and catch the the foul play onto Toxtro. I was a little bit worried that they were gonna come in Jelly, but Jelly was pretty low, and if Jelly was obviously uh, gone, then they would no answer to to Swamper. So at this point in time, I make a very critical decision here. I decide not to throw the move because I'm Poison Fang. Uh, this will allow the Jelly to farm me down really easily. So I decide to let the rolls reverse. And I'm actually going to farm it down with Swapper. I should have waited the clock a little bit longer because they could have came back into this match here. I'm not going to knock a shield this because it's just a poison thing. And um, they could have came back immediately here. and then, uh, But then they would be locked in themselves for a little bit. So it becomes a little bit complicated. So the clock comes up. I know that they're going to come in bubble beam me. Like there's there's no way. This is way too tempting of a situation, right? Uh, so I do throw the superpower here. A body slam does about 15%, so likely I could have uh, licked down uh, afterwards. They're gonna get quite a bit of farm, because obviously the hex. And then Hydro Cannon does 20%, so Hydro Cannon is very threatening at this range. Uh, but once I get one debuff, there's just, I don't think there's a way for me to to um, go from like in within Hydro Cannon range to Hydro Cannon debuff range plus a couple of mud shots here. And then I see the clock come up, and I actually thought I lost this game here. Because uh, the clock had come up, but what happened was is uh, we call it like fake CMP tie or false CMP tie, and basically what they did was they threw one hex, then they threw the bubble beam. I did two count, two mud shots, and then threw the charge move, and that allowed me to queue up my charge move right after theirs without uh, the time. So <laughs> this this game here, really tough lead here. Uh, so I tried to catch uh, the dragon claw, and. Um, they, they, go, they throw six Dragon Tails and then throw the move. So for sure, this is definitely going to be the Dragon Claw. They're not at, at the other move. So I throw the Super Power here. Uh, debatable here. So the Super Power does more damage and also gives them less farm. But I also get less Lick damage. And they actually end up no shielding, which, um, which, which makes sense too. And then I'm going to go to Toxicrow here. And I'm just going to absorb... Um, do I absorb this all or do I throw one more counter? No, I farm it down. Uh, and then they're going to come back in with uh, Dragonite, I believe. Yeah, they come back in with Dragonite. And I believe they actually let this go, which actually worked out pretty... Okay. Oh, no, they didn't let it go. They didn't let it go. They actually, this actually worked out terribly for me. So I try to get an extra mud shot through. I have to shield this. And then I, I basically played this game... Almost perfectly, so I throw one mud shot in the move, and then this actually doesn't KO the Dragonite. And at this point in time, I'm like, okay, we're just gonna do it. We're gonna mud shot down this Dragonite. There's just no other way for me to win this game. I need to come out with energy. I'm already super low on health. I do have one Pokemon to potentially sack. They come into Typhlosion here. I really should have just straight EQ'd here, uh, but then I, I thought they had got to incinerate through for some reason, and then I throw it three here, uh, which was stupid of me, because I should have thrown two, then throw two, um, uh, but yeah, I made I made a stupid, I, I, I thought they had three incinerates at that point in time, <laughs> that's the thing, like, you play, like, they basically the game perfectly, and then um, you end up, uh, end up uh, throwing the game, so, but that's okay, I, I, I just miscounted, because I wasn't sure they got one in on the switch in. So this is a favorable lead for me. Get the extra counter. Um, they cross shop here. And then they come into uh, G-Fist here. So I, uh, I'm i going to shield this Earthquake. Because the Earthquake does more damage than the, than the cross shop. And I don't see them having a great answer. Some people ask me why I hydro, why I earthquake here. One, I don't expect them to shield because it's a losing matchup, and then, um, and two, um, I, uh, yeah, and I didn't expect them to shield. So I over farm a little bit here because I can survive a cross shot, 
And then as well, one earthquake uh, would KO versus uh, one hydro cannon would not. So I'd have to throw two hydro cannons. Um, and throw the... I'm not sure what they're doing here. Uh, I would live a cross shop still. And at this point in time, I'm, I'm just going to throw the mud bomb here. I think the overcharging threw them off. And then we're going to see what's in the back. And it's going to be a jellison here. I'm actually not entirely sure why they left the match there. Uh, but that's okay. All right, Roserade here is really tough for me. Um, and I go for the Sludge Bomb, and man, they make such a nice call here. Because the Sludge Bomb would likely KO here. It'll come really close. Um, I think I decide to let this first one go. I will have to shield the second one. They come in, Oh, they come into Gallade there. And I just was too slow there. And this is very bad for me. Um, yeah, that was so bad for me. I lost my talk screw, which is uh, tremendously bad for me. So uh, they throw the leaf blade here. Um, and what do I do here? I thought about catching the close combat here. Uh, they close combat me here, so I'm, I'm going to be able to look down. Okay, so I'm like, okay, this is not so bad because uh, they're not quite at the leaf storm yet. And a uh, weather ball wouldn't KO me. So I'm like, oh, this must be a weather ball. It doesn't KO. And then I switch out into Swamp Bird here. I, I should have instant swapped, to be honest. Uh, and then here, I'm just going to go to as much energy as possible. So I'm going to throw seven mud shots. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I throw six because I'm, I'm actually already at 100 energy. And then I'm just uh, one mud shot short of uh, the hydro here. They, they, they don't throw the, the weather ball there for some reason. The weather ball certainly would have KO'd me. Maybe they thought my Stonex had a little bit more health than it actually did. So it worked out um, fine for me. So really, really tough game there. Um, so those are all the battles that I'm going to be showing um, from, from my stream. So let me know what you think of the teams, what you think of the battles. So I'm going to leave it there. If you like this video, if you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video.